What's up guys, it's Danta and today I'm going to show you how to get the glory of the Pandaria Hero Achievement. Now, Before I'm going over all of these achievements, I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that will make getting all these achievements easier. First of all, it would be nice if you have a Demon Hunter, because Demon Hunters, well, their movability is just beyond any other class that's in the game. So if you have a Demon Hunter, absolutely just do all of these achievements on your Demon Hunter. The other thing that I want to talk about is an achievement called Schools Out Forever. Now, Schools Out Forever is an achievement that isn't supposed to be soloable, but, well, you can solo it if you have two level 60s. <laughs> I'll show you how, if you don't have two level 60s, don't worry, you can just ask a friend or a guildie or anyone, you know? It still works out the same, so don't worry about that. The other thing that I want to talk about is Polyformic Acid Science. That's an achievement that you can do while attempting the other Pandaria dungeon achievements. But if you don't want to risk screwing up any of these achievements, just keep the Polyformic Acid Science as your last achievement that you are going to do. Now, if you have an alt, I would absolutely not recommend doing Polyformic Acid Science while attempting the other dungeon achievements because you can just go on your alt, do the Polyformic Acid Science after you've done all the dungeon achievements and you will still have your Pandaria hero achievement in one day. So it's just totally up to you. So with all that being said, guys, let's just get into the video and get you guys this mount. All right, so first up, we have Humane Society. Now, all we got to do for this achievement is just make our way towards the first boss, ignore all the ads, single target damage the boss so you don't kill any of his hounds. And that's how you get your achievement. So for this achievement, which is called Mosh Pit, all we want to do is have eight of these Scarlet Defenders up, getting caught in his Blades of Light, and then just zerking down the boss. So the way I did this was by going towards the boss, just standing still there, not attacking him or anything, and after a while he would spawn two of these adds. Now, you need eight adds, so the first time that he's going to cast Blades of Light, you want to dodge it. After a while, he will start spawning a lot more adds and you will probably have eight up. Now, whenever you have eight of these adds and he's going to cast Blades of Light again, you want to lure them all in that Blades of Light ability. After that, you can kill the boss and you will have your achievement. All right, so now we are going to the Scarlet Monastery. Now, the first achievement that we have to do here is called Burning Man. For this achievement, all you have to do is just pull Brother Korlov over towards these dummies and basically just let him set them on fire. Whenever these six dummies are burning, you can just kill the boss and you will have your achievement. And stay dead is the next achievement that we are going to do. So for this achievement, all you have to do is kill the rand and after that, well, a very good looking white main spawns. <laughs> so um, whenever she spawns, all you want to do is just stand still. Wait till she casts Mass Resurrection and eventually she will just mass resurrect everything. What you want to do is just AOE down these Scarlet Judicators that have been revived in the corner of the room, zerk them all down with an AOE ability, then kill White Mane, and you will have your achievement. All right, so now we are going to the Temple of the Jade Serpent. Now, the first achievement that we are going to do here is called Hydrophobia. This achievement is very easy. All we have to do is kill the boss without standing in shit. So don't stand in the water, don't stand in his beam and basically just kill the boss. That's how you get your achievement. Okay, so now we are going to do the last two achievements, which are called Cleaning Up and Seeds of Doubt. So Seeds of Doubt and Cleaning Up are both achievements that we have to do at the last boss. So whenever we've killed the first boss, we got a buff. And what we have to do with that buff is kill the boss. That's how you get your Cleaning Up achievement. But if you want to get your Seeds of Doubt achievement as well, then all you have to do is go towards the last boss, make sure you have around two to three minutes left on your buff and just wait. Eventually the boss will start casting an ability which will create an image of you and it will start attacking you, but it will put you in a shadow realm. What you want to do is go to each corner of that room very fast, click on four of these seeds and then just kill the boss. Whenever you've done that and you've collected four of these seeds, you will have both of these achievements, the cleaning up achievement and the seeds of doubt achievement. Okay, so now we are going to the Stormstad Brewery and basically the first achievement that we have to do is Link Things Herbal Journey. Now this is a achievement that requires you to talk to this female panda at the entrance and buy a couple of these green potions. Now whenever you activate a potion, you will start seeing these hoplinks. You gotta click on 30 of these hoplinks and 
Well, the easiest way to do that is by having a macro because that macro will target them. So I'll leave the macro in the comment section below so you guys can start using it. So what you are going to do is you are just going through this dungeon. You are going to do all these other achievements that we have to do as well. But meanwhile, you're just going to look for 30 of these hop links. That's actually all you have to do for this achievement. Now we are going to ook ook and we are going to do the achievement called keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, this achievement is very easy. Basically, what's going on is that there will be these barrels rolling around the room. You can click on it, and whenever you are clicking on it, you will stand on them. So what you have to do is just run into the boss with these barrels. You got to do that 20 times. Whenever you feel like you've pushed 20 of these barrels into the boss, just kill him and you will have your achievement. How did he get up there is the next achievement that we are going to do. So for this achievement, we want to make our way up after the first boss and stand at this banner. Now, what you want to do is kill a hopling that's holding a hammer. Whenever you kill him and grab that hammer, you get an ability. Whenever you cast it, all these hoplings will fly up in the air around you and they will basically make sure that the monkey that's holding the banner falls down. That's how you get your achievement. Next up is Apocalypse Now. Now, for this achievement, all we have to do is just stand near the entrance where these hoplings are spawning and, well, just wait. All you gotta do is just wait till you have around a hundred of these vermin around you. And whenever you think you do, kill one with a hammer, smack that hammer on the ground, and that's how you get your achievement. Now it's time to go to the gate of the setting sun. Now all we have to do for the first achievement, which is called Bomberman, is just enter the room, aggro the boss, stand in the middle, and after a while you will see your achievement. So the last achievement that we have to do is called Conscriptinator. Now for this achievement, all we gotta do is ignore the last boss, so don't jump down and go to the right side of that wall. You will see three of these mantid conscripts fighting. And what you got to do is aggro them all and just kill them instantly. That way you will get three stacks of resin residue and you will see your achievement. Next up is an achievement called Where's My Air Support? Now this achievement is very easy as well. All you got to do is start the encounter, clear the first wave of mantids and eventually there will be this flying mantid going over towards the platform where the panda is standing. Now what you want to do is just zerk down that mantid and after that just clear all the waves of these mantids. Don't forget to click on the gong to make this fight go faster and whenever you kill the boss here you will have your achievement. Return to Sander is the next achievement that we are going to do. So for this achievement all we have to do is unequip all our gear and right click him once. Whenever we do that, he will be around 75% HP and basically he will go into a second phase. Now, whenever he is in a second phase, he will start shielding himself and there will be these bombs falling out of the sky. What we've got to do for this achievement is grab 20 of these bombs and just throw it at him. Now, he will shield himself twice during this entire encounter. So whenever the shield lasts for the first time, you just got to right click him. He will go around 30% HP and he will start shielding himself again. That time you can just throw a lot of bombs in again and you will probably have thrown in more than 20. So after the second time that this shield is gone and you think you have enough bombs thrown in, just kill the boss and you will have your achievement. The last achievement that we have to do here, which is called Run with the Wind, is very easy if you have a Demon Hunter. So what you gotta do is just aggro the boss, fly over towards the platform behind him, talk with this panda and then kill the boss. That's all you gotta do. So now it's time to head over to the Shadow Pan Monastery. So for this first achievement that we are going to do, which is called Respect, all we have to do is make a macro, single target damage one of these monks, immediately after that, click on the macro. Do that 20 times and you will have your achievement. The obvious solution is very easy as well. All we have to do is just walk over towards the boss, aggro him with something like a taunt or anything else that you can use actually to get his attention. And after that, you want to go to the left side of the boss. There is this switch that you got to click on. And whenever you click on it, these three prisons will unlock. And basically, these three prisons have a couple of Shah in them. What you want to do is kill the Shah. After that, kill the boss and you will have your achievement. Now, be careful with using AOE abilities, because if you kill the boss and these ads are not dead, you will not get your achievement. So just be careful. So for hate leads to suffering, all we gotta do is just aggro the boss, stand still, wait till the bar is fully red, and basically just nuke the boss. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so now we are going to the Mogushan Palace. Now, the first achievement that we are going to do here is called Glint Rock and Roll. All we gotta do is just 
make our way towards the first boss, kill it. Now whenever you're walking downstairs, eventually you will see this scout walking around. Kill the scout, immediately go to the second boss, kill it, and you will have your achievement. So for the next achievement that we are going to do, it would be nice if you have a demon hunter, because a demon hunter can double jump and there is one of these statues that you gotta click on, which is way easier to reach as a demon hunter. However, if you are not a demon hunter, you can still do this. You just gotta be creative and jump on a couple of things, <laughs> basically. So um, what you want to do is just go to the same place that I am, which is in front of the last boss, and basically just follow the same route that I'm taking. Whenever you do that, you will have this achievement. So for the last achievement in this dungeon, which is called what does this button do, all we have to do is unequip all our gear, have a class with some movability because we gotta move around from one side of the room to the other side really quick. What you want to do is unequip all your gear, right click the boss till, till he's around 30% HP and after that you want to click on the first crystal. Whenever you do that, you have a short amount of time to reach the next one to get this achievement. So I heroic leaped, shape shifted, clicked on the second crystal, and after that, the secret defense system activated and the boss got hit by his own traps. That's how you get your achievement. All right, so now it's time to go to Skullamans. Now for the first achievement, all you have to do is just zerk down the first boss. Next up, we have the achievement called Rattle No More. Now for this achievement, all you gotta do is nuke him. Next up, we have the achievement called Sanguinarian. So for this one, you just want to round up the entire room. And after that, you want to keep right clicking one of these Crestinovian carvers at a time. And they die, they will give a stack of boiling blood thirst to another ad. So you just want to keep doing that until you see one of these Crestinovian carvers with 99 stacks. It's very easy. Whenever you see one with 99 stacks, just AOE the hell out of them and you'll have your achievement. All right, guys, so let's talk about Schools Out Forever. Now, this achievement isn't supposed to be soloable, but you can solo it if you have two characters that are around level 60. So the way I did this was I made a group with my Druid. Let's call my Warrior character 1 and my Druid character 2. So you are going to make your way up with character 1 towards the last boss. After that, you are going to make your way up towards the boss with character 2. It's just that simple. After that, you want to log back in with character one and you want to engage the boss with a taunt or anything like that. Whenever you do that, you want to immediately press Alt F4. That way your character will still stand still there uh, while being attacked by the boss. Now, whenever you press Alt F4, you want to log back onto character two and you will see that the boss is still attacking character one. Now, whenever character one disappears into a prison, you want to taunt the boss with character two. Now, whenever you do that, you want to Alt F4 back onto character one and try to walk with these zombies towards the boss. You are going to do that five times. So you are just going to press Alt F4, go back onto character two, press Alt F4, go back onto character one. Because if you are not going to do that, the fight will reset and you have to do it again because the boss doesn't have anything to attack. Now, this achievement can be kind of a, well, clusterfuck, but... Eventually, no characters will be teleported anymore to any prison because there are five prisons. Whenever each prison has been opened, the boss won't teleport you around anymore. And whenever that happens, you can just group up all the zombies, AOE them down away from the boss because if you kill the boss, you won't have your achievement. Now, if this is too complicated, <laughs> which I understand it might be, um, well, then just ask a friend because then no one has to log off and basically all you gotta do is just taunt and have one person get teleported to a prison and do that rinse and repeat. It can be a lot easier, <laughs> that's for sure. So for those that didn't do the polyformic acid science achievement while doing the other achievements yet, this will be the last one that we have to do. <laughs> so for this achievement, all we have to do is go to Professor Slade, we have to kill him and he drops a vial. Whenever you pick that vial up and you right click on it, it will refill with some kind of stuff that will transform you into 
what he looks like <laughs> and on that you want to fill up that file and you also want to click on the green file that's on that desk whenever you do that you'll immediately get transformed into a undead while being under the effect of that file you have to kill all these pandaria bosses and well that's basically all you gotta do so just hearthstone go back to pandaria go to each of these dungeons kill the boss that's required and that's how you get your achievement so that's actually all I have to say about the glory of the Pandaria Hero achievement. Now, if you liked this video and if it was helpful at all, don't forget to leave a subscribe and a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Now, all I can say is, um, well, congratulations with your reigns of the Crimson Cloud Serpent and I'll see you guys in the next video.